Hello family, alas. Big changes are coming in 2024. Could this be the end of the five-year permanent residence as we know it? Get ready for a whirlwind tour of the new requirements, eligibility criteria, and costs that could reshape your journey to the UK. From skilled worker visas to family reunions, the rules are changing. We're here to break down what these changes mean for you, and how to navigate the new landscape of UK immigration. Hence make sure you watch till the end of the video, so you do not miss out on this very vital information. For our indefatigable fans and those new to the family, you now have the option to join to become a member of the family. For others, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let's get into it. First on our agenda is the skilled worker route, a popular pathway for professionals aiming for the UK. Brace yourselves, because starting April 4, 2024, the salary bar is being raised significantly. Gone are the days of the £26,200 threshold. The new figure to keep in mind is £38,700, dash a leap that may seem daunting at first glance. But fear not, we're here to guide you through this financial hurdle. His change is set to redefine the skilled worker landscape. It's a move that aligns with the UK's strategy to attract top-tier talent and ensure competitive salaries within its workforce. We'll share insights from those who've successfully navigated the system, revealing how they met, and even surpassed, the new salary requirements. Their stories will inspire, and provide practical tips for your application. What does this mean across different sectors? Our panel of industry experts will dissect the implications for IT, engineering, healthcare, and more, helping you understand where the opportunities lie. And for those feeling the pressure, we've got you covered. Career advisors will offer strategies to boost your qualifications and experience, positioning you to meet, and even exceed, the new salary threshold. Let's pause for a minute. Are you currently enjoying the video? If so, then please take a minute to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the notification button, so that you are the first to be notified when the next video drops. In Chronicles of Ola, we talk about life, living in the UK, immigration-related information and lots more. So please join the family and share the channel with your friends. Now let's get back to it. As we navigate the path to making the UK your home, it's crucial to talk about the financial aspect. Yes, the cost of securing your place in the UK is on the rise, and we're here to break down these changes for you. In 2024, the financial commitment for visa applicants will see a significant uptick. Specifically, a five-year work visa will cost approximately £9,000, while those applying for a two-and-a-half-year partner visa, will face fees around £5,000. These numbers might seem daunting, but don't let them deter you from your British dream. With smart planning and strategic budgeting, these financial hurdles can be managed. Let's explore some effective ways to prepare your finances. First up, leveraging technology can be a game-changer. There are numerous budgeting apps and financial tools available that can help you track your savings goals and manage your expenses. We'll guide you through the best ones for your visa journey. And it's not just about saving, it's about smart spending. We'll introduce you to cost-saving tips that can make a big difference. From cutting unnecessary expenses to finding affordable housing options, every little helps in reaching your goal. Attention, international scholars. The UK has always been a beacon for students seeking quality education. But there's an important update for those planning to embark on this academic journey in 2024. A significant shift is on the horizon regarding your ability to bring loved ones along. Starting January 2024, the rules tighten, only those enrolled in PhD or other doctoral courses will be eligible to bring dependents. This change marks a departure from previous policies, aiming to streamline the student visa process and focus on those undertaking extensive research programs. Let's dive into what this means for you and how to navigate these changes. First, understanding the criteria is key. Being in a PhD or doctoral program is just the start. You'll also need to prove your relationship and ensure your dependents meet the visa requirements. Hearing from those who've been through the process can be incredibly helpful. We've spoken to international students who successfully brought their families to the UK under the new rules. Their experiences offer valuable insights and tips. Feeling overwhelmed? Don't worry, help is at hand. Immigration advisors can provide personalized guidance, helping you understand the documentation needed and how to strengthen your application for your dependents. The digitalization of the UK immigration system is in full swing, marking a significant shift from physical documents to a sleeker, online system. By the end of 2024, physical biometric residence permits will be phased out, moving towards a more accessible and efficient digital format. 
stay ahead of the tech curve with our tips. The home office's goal is to make its systems digital by design and digital by default. This ambitious move aims to streamline the immigration process, making it more user-friendly and efficient for millions of people traveling to or already residing in the UK. Currently ranking 11th on the UNE Government Development Index, the UK is catching up to countries like Finland, which is trialing the first digital passports. The introduction of e-visas is a significant step towards this digitalization, offering a glimpse into the future of immigration. But with great innovation comes great responsibility. Digital literacy, especially among the older population, is a concern, as is the risk of falling victim to online scams, such as fake e-visa websites. BRP and BRC holders without e-visas will likely be required to create an online UKV account prior to December 31st, 2024. The Home Office is currently trialing the process for select groups, informing them of this requirement in decision letters issued following a successful application. One of the benefits of e-visas is that they should make it quicker and easier to prove one's status when entering the UK. However, individuals may encounter issues if their latest travel document is not linked to their current immigration status. The transition hasn't been without its challenges. Issues with the Home Office's IT system have caused significant obstacles, including applications going unacknowledged for weeks due to technical errors and difficulties submitting biometric data of young children via the app. Moreover, the digital divide poses a risk of leaving behind millions of migrants due to the cost of living crisis and the requirement for relatively new technology to use the UK ID check app. Confused? Concerned? You're not alone. Join us as we sit down with immigration experts to dissect these changes and what they mean for your future in the UK. The UK's immigration landscape is undergoing its most significant transformation in decades. From the phasing out of physical biometric residence permits to the introduction of a fully digital system, these changes are poised to impact millions. One expert, the move towards a digital first approach is designed to streamline processes and make the system more accessible. However, it's crucial to understand the implications for those applying for visas, ILR, or citizenship. Second expert, one of the key benefits of this digital shift is the reduction in paperwork and the ability to manage your status online. But, there are challenges, particularly for those less comfortable with technology or without access to the necessary devices. The new system promises a more straightforward application process, with e-visas replacing traditional paper documents. But as with any major change, there are teething problems. Third expert, we've seen instances where technical glitches have caused delays. It's important for applicants to stay informed and seek assistance if they encounter issues. For families and individuals navigating this new landscape, the support of immigration advisors has become more crucial than ever. Understanding the nuances of the digital system can make all the difference in securing your status in the UK. Expert 1 It's also worth noting the importance of cybersecurity in this digital transition. Applicants should be vigilant against scams and ensure they're using official home office channels for their applications. The changes to the UK immigration system represent a bold step into the future. While there are undoubtedly challenges ahead, being well informed and prepared can help ensure a smooth transition. The road to UK residency is taking a sharp turn in 2024. But with the right information and preparation, you can navigate these changes like a pro. The UK's immigration system is undergoing significant transformations, fueled by the government's overarching goal of reducing net migration. These changes not only reflect the priorities of the present government, but also hold profound implications for individuals, businesses, and families. From the introduction of electronic travel authorizations for certain nationals to the increase in the immigration health surcharge by 66%, the landscape is shifting. Not to mention the phasing out of physical biometric residence permits in favor of a sleeker online system these changes are poised to impact millions for instance care workers and senior care workers will face restrictions on bringing dependents to the uk and the minimum salary threshold for a skilled worker visa will rise significantly families planning to extend their stay or apply for residency must now navigate these new rules including a substantial increase in the minimum income requirement for partners applying under appendix fm2 the introduction of e visas and the move towards a digital first approach aimed to streamline processes however this shift brings its own set of challenges particularly for those less comfortable with technology or without access to the necessary devices too applicants will likely need to create an online uk visa account before the end of 2024 a move that promises quicker and easier ways to prove one's status when entering the uk Yet, 
Individuals may encounter issues if their latest travel document is not linked to their current immigration status. The digital divide poses a risk of leaving behind millions of migrants due to the cost of living crisis and the requirement for relatively new technology to use the UK ID Check app. The road to UK residency in 2024 is indeed taking a sharp turn. But with the right information and preparation, navigating these changes can be manageable. That's all for today's video. We hope you now have more information around these topics that have been discussed. We encourage you to take that bold step towards your next career adventure. The UK awaits your contribution to its vibrant and diverse workforce. Not so fast though. Did you like the video? Do you have friends and family that need to know about these details to make their move to the UK a success? Then make sure you share, share and share. Many of you only watch my videos, a whooping 80% of you, but haven't subscribed. Why not? Please subscribe today and turn on the notification button so that you'd be the first to be notified when I drop more of this content. For those that want to support the channel, my PayPal link is in the description of the video. If you need a paid inquiry, make a donation to the channel and send your details to my email, chroniclesofola at gmail.com. Shalom.